Okay, day two of the live carve. Tractor's out there doing his thing. This is why I love the town where I'm in. I live Ladner, British Columbia, because it's a farming fishing town. I also grew up in the Vancouver city with my dad on the weekends. So what I'm gonna do now, this is the second video of the live, the on-site carve. I am gonna uh, go to this side. I'm gonna use my bigger saw to get rid of all this bark. And then I'm gonna draw a wood spirit on here and carve a wood spirit and this is going to be all rocks down here okay so that's what i'm going to do yep it feels like this wood's uh doing, it's not soaking wet this is uh pine wood Okay, I want to stop for a second and talk about uh, why I took this so far in. Because this water wood is really pitchy and sappy. So when you get into the hardwood, like the center wood, I don't know whatever it's called, the core wood, there's not as much pitch and sap in it. So you can see how much I took it out there. Anyway, so now I'll draw the wood spirit face on and uh, give this guy a cool flow. Yep. Okay, so before I get too, I don't know how well you guys are gonna see this on camera with the sunlight. So you see, I, could, I did the bigger, the bigger hairlines. And I don't know if you guys realized I was using that. Uh, oops, I was using my little still uh, two five one one there um, because my I needed to get a new chain for my carving bar. So I did basically all this with the two five one one without a carving bar so it goes to show you guys you guys can carve without carving bars right so carving bar is just uh, has a lot less chance of kickback and stuff like that and well you can turn better in the in the wood with the carving bar but i took this face way deep inside there see so let's see here let's take a big visual this is all going to be rocks down there I tried to blend it all together. See like uh, I still gotta do some 
more cuts that sit on the ground and blend it nice there. So yeah, I'd say it's coming along pretty good. He did want his kind of like an arm kind of coming up. So I left this forearm in here. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start carving rocks on the base. Actually, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start hollowing it out with this uh, Mampa hole cutter on a grinder. Just bam, 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 stick because they want it, this to be a flower pot, right? Down here. I already got some with my chainsaw, but that's what I'm going to do next. I don't think... I'll film a little bit, I guess. Okay, so now we're gonna start carving rocks right down there, all the way around, yep. <laughs> it so far. Oh, here's Brad. This $150,000 Mercedes. What's that? Hawaiian noise! He works super hard for his money. He owns uh, um, his him and his wife are super hard workers. They just bought this house off Mike that lives there. So, anyways, the flowers, Jordy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks, man. Perfect timing, and we're rolling too. I just need a bucket of dirt, that's good enough for me. <laughs> let's go let's go sit around the back now. I don't know if it's harder to see on this side on the film, but I got all the rocks carved down there. Anyways. Okay, I'm thinking I need to take this planter down some more too. But the, that lamp tool kicks ass. So let's take a full 360 visual of this. Sorry there's a little bit of wind. I left this bicep in there. It's art. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can see it on camera. You can see it's there. I gotta touch up those beard hairs inside that where they come off for them. Come on, get out of here, you weight cable. Anyways, I think I'm gonna pull out my die grinder now and start shaping that backwood spirit's face. Okay guys, so that's it for me today. It's her birthday, Brad's wife's birthday, so um, her parents are here and stuff, they're sitting out here and we cleaned, Brad helped me cleaned up and her girlfriends are coming over to make her dinner or something. So I got this flower potter in here. The rocks are, he's got, Brad bought a bunch of linseed oil to put on it. So tomorrow we'll just be details. Detailing the eyes and the owl's eyes. Brad wants the, the plastic LLs I, I got in there. What's the name of the owl again? Horton. Yeah, Horton the Horton the what? Horton the who? So that's it um, for today. So tomorrow, burning all in here. And uh, I don't know if you can see it that well on because of the sun. But I gotta do all the details, burning it, and wrap up tomorrow. So hope you're all good, and see you later. Okay, bye.